Hello everyone, this is Karan here. You are welcome to Tech Karan YouTube channel. Today in this video, I'm going to review a AOSP extended base custom room and Android 10 base custom room for Xiaomi Redmi Note 8. This is the official build of AOSP extended v7.0 and you get the security patch of 5th of February 2020. What are the things working and what are the things not working? Can you use this room as your daily driver? Is Google camera working? All the questions are answered and the main thing is how you can install this custom room i will try to focus on that also so now let's take a look and now let's get straight to the video okay so first of all as always we will start with the launcher but let me tell you i have installed launcher launcher by myself you didn't got launcher launcher inbuilt and to install this room there was something some complicated things i i had to do and now and if i tell you what is the default launcher you get in this custom room wait let me show you wait here you get the default launcher as AOSP launcher in default but I have installed launcher launcher because it looks good let me show you which type of launcher you get you get this normal launcher here and no customization options when you go to home settings you only get the option of icon pack and gradient on top and these things you get but I try to install launcher launcher and with gestures the third party launcher is working perfectly no issues at all now if you swipe right you didn't get any google feed anything else and when you swipe down gesture is working perfectly and in quick settings you can customize the styles from here and also three dot menu is here where you can customize columns and columns landscape quick bar columns etc and now let's move on straight to camera you get the normal snapdragon camera here which you can see and no extra features are there but yes you can use google camera google camera 7.1 7 point something is properly working and clicking photos no bugs but yes no gallery so you cannot watch those pics clicked by your camera the portrait mode is also working no force closes no issues everything is working great the camera clarity i cannot say you can try out on your own i am just saying you that google camera is working the clarity of picture is good for you or not that's your opinion i am not responsible for that and now let's move on straight and quickly to settings in settings you get the option network and internet as always as you are using android 10 based custom room so you will get the wi-fi calling option also available which you can see here wi-fi calling option is available and is working perfectly no issues are there now let's move back to battery the battery backup is nice i'm using this room from last night and i didn't notice any battery extra drain and the battery backup is good the screen time usage is also good so no issues are there at all battery temp battery percentage option is there and adaptive brightness of adaptive battery option is also there which is a very good thing in android 10 based custom rooms in display you have the option of brightness level adaptive brightness and other things like dark theme screen timeout double tap to wake display cutout you can use corner cutout double cutout tall cutout whichever suits to you and you have the option of asian color and body fonts and fonts are available many fonts are available go and customize any font that's your choice now let's move us quickly to other things like privacy you get the permission manager here you get the show password lock screen auto fill service from google also now let's move on to security yes pattern lock and fingerprint both things are working and my device is encrypted that's why you can see that fingerprint is working and if you are decrypted i cannot say fingerprint is will be available for you or not i cannot sure about that and this is system you get these options system updates option is available but it is not working in my case so no ota supported okay and now let's move on to about phone and as i already told you you get the aex android 10 february security patch official build and what are the extra settings you get here no more settings like status bar items only these things clock settings only customize the clock traffic indicators if you want on your status bar or miscellaneous you have the ax logo like you can see in my status bar header 4g icon volt icon and these things you get in status bar and when you go to quick setting panels you can customize a 
tiles some modifications like quick 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 settings pull down and running services icon animation style and these things you get and when go back notifications only heads up you can customize so not a many lot of customization options and in navigation you don't have the option of anything so i don't know it is a bug or not in my case but it is not working at all in lock screen you can generally for fingerprint authentication vibration is available in general settings lock screen charging info is also available in lock screen items and when you go to system in general tweaks you have, have the option of three finger gesture which is a good thing and in buttons you have the option of power menu advanced restart screenshot and these things and music control etc this was the from settings everything now let's move on to the main part how to install this custom room you don't get the google apps pre-built but the thing is when you install the room with google apps the room will boot up surely but you will be struck at the setup android setup and you will see force closes there so wait let me show you simply when you boot into recovery i will recommend you to use twrp or pitch black that's your choice and i will not recommend you to use orange fox recovery project i got some problems from that recovery so you can choose official twrp recovery or also you can choose pitch black recovery that's your choice simply go to wipe advanced wipe dalvi catch system vendor data as you already know about that simply swipe to wipe now just go back go to install and here select the room file AOSP extended 7.0 ginkgo simply swipe to confirm flash after confirm flash what you have to do is simply go to reboot and you have to reboot system okay just set up your device as normally as you do and after that just boot back to recovery again and then you don't have to install modded google apps you just have to install google apps from the official opengapps.org website like this opengapps arm64 10.0 pico 31st of january update simply click there and swipe to confirm flash and again you have to reboot system at that time and then you will be able to set up your device with google account and this is the optional thing if you want a magisk on your device simply boot into recovery again go to magisk 20.3 swipe to confirm flash and this is done so this was from this video i hope you understood what's how you can install this custom room on your device so this was all from today's video i hope you like it thanks for watching and goodbye see you in the next video